Hi, my name is Xiaoming Li from Harbin Institute of Technology, China. I'm going to introduce our work, Enhanced Blind Face Resolution with Multi-Exemplar Images and Adaptive Spatial Feature Theory. In recent years, some works attempt to adopt a high-quality image as reference to guide the blind face restoration. However, face images are usually under constrained conditions, like different poses expressions. We note that in many real-world face restoration applications, like smartphone photo albums that support identity group, or films that multiple high-quality images of the same person usually are available for a given degraded low-quality observation. To address this issue, this paper suggests to enhance blind face restoration performance by utilizing multi-exemplar images and adaptive fusion of features from guidance and degraded images. First. We investigate the problem of selecting optimal guidance image from multiple high-quality exemplars. The exemplar with similar pose and expression is preferred given a degradation observation. Thus, we formulate the optimal guidance selection as a weighted least square model defined on landmark sets, where different widths are assigned to different visual parts, such as ears and mouths. Moreover, the landmark widths are learned to make the selected guidance to be optimal for restoration performance. Second, we further investigate the alignment for the guidance and the degraded images. And for our method, the pose difference can be largely alleviated via guidance selection. And we thus can leverage the moving least square to align the guidance and the degraded images in the feature space. Moreover, the adaptive instance normalization is utilized to translate the illumination of guidance image. Third, instead of direct concatenation, multiple adaptive spatial feature fusion blocks are adopted for combining the features from guidance and degraded images. In each ASFF block, both facial landmarks, guidance, and restored features are considered to generate an attention mask for guiding adaptive feature fusion. When applying to real-world scenarios, the attention mask is still effective in finding where to incorporate guidance features, making our ASFF exhibit good generalization ability to unknown degradations. Finally, we further use a reconstruction subnet to generate the restoration result. As for the datasets, we use the images from VGG Phase 2 to build the datasets for face restoration with multi-exemplar guidance images. By grouping the images based on the identity, we build our datasets containing 160,000 groups of face images, in which each group has 3 to 10 high-quality exemplar images. In order to generate synthetic training and testing data, we adopt this degradation model. It contains a random combination of Gaussian blur, motion blur, downsampling, Gaussian noise, and JPEG compression. And for the learning objective, we adopt landmark width loss to update the width vector w for each position. The reconstruction loss contains the mean square errors, conceptual loss, style loss between the reconstructed results and the ground truth. Moreover, the adversarial loss is adopted to improve visual quality. Now let's move on to the experimental section. Here we first report the quantitative result. We evaluate the performance on 4 time and 8 time image super resolution task with random injection of blur noise and JPEG compression. We can see that our ASFF net outperforms to the single example based method, which may be ascribed to the effectiveness of the usage of multiple examplars and adaptive feature fusion blocks. We also represent the visual comparisons with the computing method. In comparison, our ASFF net is more effective in reconstructing high quality face images with more realistic details. To evaluate the generalization ability in handling real world low quality images, we apply ASFF net to handle a real world photo taken in 1929. You can see that ASFF net can generalize well to these low quality faces and generate plausible restoration result. Finally, we apply our method on restoring a real film. Our method can also generate plausible results. Both the code and data sets will be available in our homepage. Thank you.